Every day she read her scriptures. Matthew chapter 5, verse 5, blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Believing that somehow, after everything, that someone would recognize her worth after the black eyes, after the broken arms, the fractured ribs, the door she replaced for the third time from his Tim, the secrets that he made her keep when he raped her in her sleep when he called her whole slut, skank, bitch, notorious for holding her heart in his fist. But Bliss had conditioned her to believe that this time it would be different and just because nobody else saw it that maybe it didn't happen, convinced that maybe she did try to trap him into a relationship and mommy told her that if he kissed her lips and held her hips afterwards that it really wasn't abuse so she got used to it. Sister said you lucky he wants your loose ass so don't be a nuisance. Pastor told her that sex was a wife's obligation so you can't refuse and so the counter lose against. She continued reading her scriptures, holding on to herself when nobody else would through the anguish of knowing that her eight-year-old could hear her wailing at night. And despite the screaming, for her clenching into a tight bowl, heard her whimpering quietly down the hall at the sound of the bass in his fist against the small of her back. For her clenching, her eyes shut with each crack and each fall. And even through the wall, she could hear her baby, Father, save my family in Jesus' name, praying for a salvation that never came as she wondered whether she would grow up and blame her for not walking away, not fighting back, not realizing each hand she raised to defense, his punches were packed harder. And since she'd rather be a mother than a martyr, she gave in, hoping her baby would grow up and understand why she stayed. Because she just couldn't fight anymore. She prayed because she just couldn't fight anymore. She made herself smile through all his ills because she just couldn't fight anymore. She took those sleeping pills because she just couldn't fight anymore. At eight years old, I couldn't understand then, but at 25, I understand now. She told me, Mommy, baby, go and get my sleeping pills because I'm tired. I need to go to sleep. She was tired and all she desired was to close her eyes and not see his picture, not feel him ripping her apart. And the last thing we did together as I lay close to her heart was read scriptures. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. And it's ironic because she used to tell me that meek was Greek for power under control and of everything he stole, he couldn't have her power. Though at eight years old, he stole my faith during that very hour because being meek didn't matter until after the broken arms, after the fractured ribs, after the black eyes, nobody recognized her worth until she died. So if the earth is all you can savage, then it's not worth it. You can have it. 